Thank you for waiting. Next speaker is Mr. Nolo. He has experienced ch changing his jobs four times. Now he is an engineer lecturer at MBA. He measured every different types of times, and uh, he established unique method to improve productivity. And he has been selected as a special student for the Works Communications program. And also, he has experienced start up his company and faced the difficulty of the shortage of the engineer. As a result, he started up a new company, dive into code to train and educate engineer to become high earning engineer. And he is going to talk under the title Three Steps to Become a High Earning Engineer. Good afternoon, everyone. Are you still awake? So this is the end of day two, so I feel that you must be sleepy, but I'd like to encourage you, so please stay focused. Thank you very much. I think you have been sitting a while, while so please stretch out your hands and uh, arms like this, and hold your hands up. Thank you for joining me. And I think the environment is warmer now. Uh, th today I'd like to talk. So first of all, my name is Hiroyoshi Noro in Dive Into Code. Talking about myself, there are three characteristics as introduced. I used to work at the Works application. I started from zero to become an um, engineer, so I was a special. Uh, I was selected to be selected as a new hire, so that uh, I trained myself to become an engineer. And the second experience is to start up a company, so I started and found a company from zero or a prototype. So that is a hands-on experience for me to learn a company to provide education. And as mentioned earlier, this is what I'm good at. I have been measuring all the times I spent for the past 12 years. So I just use this kind of stopwatch to measure sleeping, working, and the different times I spent. It's somewhat related to my talk today. I wanted to improve the value of my time and also the time of others as well. For the past 12 years, I measured every different time I spent, and as a result, the conclusion, we understand that uh, it's difficult to keep continuing from the past experience, but if something to improve for the future, we are encouraged. You cannot change the past or others, but we can change ourselves or the future. But not just to measure, the time, but uh, if I acquire the skills for the program, I can change the future or I can improve the unit price of my work. So that's the uh, background why I run the company to provide training for engineers. This is the plan of my talk. I would like to talk about the never ending challenge we are facing. And then I talk about the mission and the three steps to become a high earning engineer. And lastly, I will share what kind of special benefit you can enjoy. And the talk will be on the website, and the material will be distributed to you. This may be the last time for us to meet face to face. So this is a rare opportunity to meet you. So please look into my eyes while listening to me. First of all, challenges for us, shortage of engineers. I think this is a common problem we are facing. Have you ever thought that this is a problem for you? You have difficulty finding a good engineer? So the reality is that there is a shortage of good or high quality engineers. I think this is never ending problem because high quality engineer is limited. So what is 
in the background of the issue. So look at the two sides of the problem. One side is engineer, the other side is the company looking for a talent. And uh, looking at the level of the skills, some are high and others are low. And there are some engineers who have potential to grow in terms of their skill level. And looking at the company side, their literacy level are different. Some are high and some companies are respecting engineers, but other companies, like at the bottom, their literacy level is low and they do not respect for engineers, they just place orders. So popular engineers and the popular company do not face issues to find a company or engineer. However, at the bottom of the pyramid, they have a difficulty to find a company to work for or find a good engineer to work for them. So this area is the source of the problem. So top of the pyramids are not a problem. However, the bottom parts are the issue. I would like to improve the situation for them. So the engineer has to improve their skills, and the company has to improve their literacy so that they can communicate well with engineers. So here's our mission. We would like to create a society where everyone can utilize their technology so that they can contribute or play an important role in the society. Every people, regardless of career or education, and the technology as a weapon means they have to utilize everything they have to fight and play an important role means contribute to someone or to the society so that they can earn money. So those are the main concept of our mission. So this common problem of the shortage of the engineer. And I think the situation of the hiring or working would be different in the future. And uh, this is my opinion. You cannot repeat the past, uh, but uh, for the future, you have the opportunity, especially for the programmers. IT skill can be used as your weapon. You can utilize them so that you can play an important role going forward. So this is the main part of the presentation. There are three steps for you to become a high earning engineer from zero or from scratch. So here's a the conclusion. There should be an opportunity to make a first step. And then there should be a way to acquire skills, and there should be a checkpoint, which checkpoint you have to go through. And the third point is to get a role to be played in the society. So those three steps are necessary. I'd like to talk about one by one, based on my experience for the past one or two years. I want to share my experience based on those three points. First is at the bottom, or at the beginning. I have done two things. First is to provide a seminar for someone who has no experience, and I have provided a seminar to more than a thousand people. And we have materials for the schools, and they are put on the website, and they are open. So first is about opportunity. So there are people who would like to try programming. This is not for school kids, but for adults. So many people are joining this kind of a seminar. Today we have about 200 participants, but so far we have provided a seminar to 10 times more people than you are gathered here, like 2,000 people experienced. Do you know someone who are not engineer but learning about programming? There are some. Maybe 10% of you know someone who are learning programming. But they are not engineers. And for our seminars, they are mainly non-engineers. Why they are interested in? So let me talk about the background. Recently, uh, this is a hot topic that the programming education will become compulsory. compulsory. And large corporations are focusing on starting up new businesses, and also side point is remote working. It's a new trend, and all are related to programming. People have a sense of crisis, 
and look at the pie chart, there are many people who would like to improve their communication with engineers. Many of you, I believe, are engineers. You are the person who are talked to. Do you have any problem of having the problem in communication, especially for the technical discussion? Sales rep do not uh, well understand about the technical discussion. So this is a problem for non-engineers. They pretend to understand, but they actually not. So that is the main reason why they join our seminars. Or other people working for the company responsible for starting up new businesses, and they say, our president said to build something new, and we have to communicate with engineers, so we have to follow the order of the president. However, the, the, the deliverable are not as expected from the president, so they also need to improve the communication. And a portion of the participants are actual SE of the SIA. They used to work on the mission critical pro, uh, system, but they would like to move on to the web application. So I'd like you to understand the situation. There are so many people who are interested in improving their understanding about the uh, programming. They may not directly connect with you, but it is very important to provide the opportunity to make a first step. So they have to have the hands-on experience to see the tangible result. And the second is that they have to have the understanding, good understanding about the concept. This is the main reason why many people join our seminars. So I want to talk about what we teach at the seminars. Look at the diagram. There's number one through three. This is done by the rails on rails, Ruby on rails using the Cloud9. After that, uh, registered in Git and pushed to Heroku. So that's only done within two or three hours by three steps, and they are all they are open to the world. So this is done by three steps in short time, and they can upload uh, the application to the world. So that's a very good experience for the people without experience to get very well encouraged. So they believe they can do programming. That's a very important thing we have to teach them. So today's talk, you may just think you can Google that information, but for those who have no experience or the sales reps, you should think about providing the experience of the success first. And talking about understanding of the concept, this is a diagram of the structure of Ruby on Rails. So you can follow the arrow about to, to follow the processes. However, for the beginner, for the first glance, it would be very difficult to understand the concept. So that was a problem. So if we keep talking about how each model works, they cannot understand at all. So I have to think about a good example in a daily life, something they have experienced, like a bank operation. It's a very good example. So you can use this example. Framework structure is similar to the bank. If you want to withdraw money, you come to the office, and the door opens, and there is an attendant, and they let you through to the counter, and then you want to withdraw the money, then the clerk at the counter talks to the teller, and the money is withdrawn from the board, and then you receive the money with the statement of the bank book. That's the end of the process. That's same as the application framework concept. Why bank has a role sharing? The same concept is seen in the framework. Then the beginner can understand the concept of the framework, and they remember this well. If this very easy to understand example is used. It's not the only thing we teach, but we also talk about the computer world, like it's like 011100. Such thing is also mentioned. But to have the clearer image for them is very important. 
And there's one more thing I make in public, the textbook for the school. Now, I think there are many online study services, and you might think that everybody will be able to learn from that. But uh, many people come to the seminar because they want to hear directly about the lesson because there is something that is not clear. But still, we need a textbook. So we make our school textbook open. So if there's somebody around you who would like to study, I would encourage them to use our textbook. So all the seminars, materials that I give is also public online. So all these online contents, you, I believe that it will not be so valuable because if you want to have the knowledge that is repeatable, then uh, we need to have these contents at sold. But to have the opportunity to make the first step is very important. Well, this content has lots of volumes, so I don't have the pagination here, but there are a huge volume of information. So that was number one. And number two is to gain the pathway to earn the skills and the checkpoints. I, we started a school. Although we say high level, uh, that means uh, includes the way up to be able to do the actual work. And also we set the opportunity to make the presentation on the results. If you have a new commerce training, maybe you can apply some of these methods. And anyway, if we just follow the textbook, that doesn't really make the people make the full understanding. Also, we have to confirm by giving them the homework, to how much they could un really understood and they, how much they can use it. And they have to do that or will not be able to graduate. We also have a GitHub people with a social coding. We want them, to, we ask them to make a teamwork and also make sure that they can be used for the actual work. And also we keep the record of how many days days it took, and we also check to what level they are being capable of solving the issues. So the make the Ruby trail, we use the Ruby trail to make this online system to see the actual how many people have you surpassed and how many days it took and code reviews are all made on this system. Because when you give them from education to the newcomers, these things of code reviews will become important or they would just do it the self learning system and without knowing the basics, then it becomes a chaos in the codes that these people will write. So we should give them a clear instructions and to make them by themselves is another thing. For example, one uh, tweeting application, the photographs application, and also to share something application. So we ask them as a homework to make these kinds of applications. So they try to make this. Also, the have we ask them to make a to materialize the business idea they have. And also, this is kind of a competition. And we do that every six months. If you just uh, studying, studying, they will lose the motivation. So uh, we also make these events to bring up their motivations. So purpose and goals. That's something we also have to prepare. And also to give them the feedback. This is really useful in increasing up their motivation. And also the just uh, ask them to make the certain QA site that is familiar. And the team will work together to make this, something like that. So there are homeworks or challenges given to them without textbooks. Then they can have the experience that this, these are all done on the GitHub. And so they can experience by themselves what kind of issues they might meet in the middle of the way. And also the role in the society. We are doing two things. One is that we uh, ask the graduates to make the development. And also, we work together with a human resource company. 
and with a Ruby on Rail development is provided with the hourly payment of only 1,500 yen. So we provide this low price service and to make a prototype. And these mainly are done by our employees and we make the graduates work together. But it's very difficult to make the operations to get the orders. We do the sales activities to get the orders. But if there are no projects, then we should ask them to make the system development within the company. And also, we should give them proposal or what about some human resource dispatch services. And it's very difficult to find the customer's clients. So if you can think of any, please let us know. And we work together with the leverage these days. So those people uh, who is capable enough to work in the actual society will be moving to those companies. So it's not just learning, but the skill is a tool. So they have to fulfill the purpose. So that's what we help them to do. And these are people who used to be SC or network engineers. And also they are the real beginners who want to uh, change their job, and they actually did. And so that's those who have experience are very quick, 100 to 200 hours difference compared to people who have no experience. But uh, if you spend enough time, uh, my feeling is that everybody will be capable of doing the work. So what's important is just getting one step forward to really understand fully and also to have the idea on where which direction should be moving on and we give those opportunities and also to get the checkpoints it's very important to check that you are really doing the work very well and also to give them the role uh, that can make profit so ruby on rails is on the web's word, and in the past, we would have to hire new people and train them, but on the web, it's very difficult to do that. So there are many people who want to become engineers, so they would even pay for these classes to become engineers. So I wish that we can make the good opportunity for these people. Also, we want to give the programming experience to every people, and that's why I make the seminar tomorrow. I'm going to give a seminar in Gozu, and so I give seminars in Shimane Prefecture. And also, we should make escalators. We make the textbooks for the schools. So our target is about 5,000 engineers by the year 2020, who can earn their living as engineers. And also those you and who are actually working as engineers who should give opportunity to the newcomers coming after you. Not only in Japan, but also Franjia-san from uh, is training Vietnam people so that they can work in Japan. So for those people who believe in their possibility, I will be happy to support these people. And the contents of the trainings, if each company will make their own, uh, I think it will be more efficient if we can give a comprehensive uh, textbook or the trainings. If you want to use it for the company, we can give some ideas that you can use them as a trial. Well, last year, who wanted to come here? Uh, I wanted to come here last year, and I'm so glad that I'm here today. Yet yeah, last year was only second year since we founded our company. We have just started our activities. We have just completed our textbook. But I'm very glad that I'm here today. So for the, we our members are here today, and everybody's really grateful for the time given to us and thank you so much for your attention thank you very much 
So you do have a uh, lots of seminar experience. The, your talk is very easy to understand, and I'm impressed on how punctual you could finish your presentation. Now we can have time for questions. Yes, question, please. You raised your hand, so we would like to get your question. Thank you. I have a question. For example, to develop the QA site as a team, to after they learn, they would try to do that without a textbook. That's what you said in the presentation. So after their study, and if they do, the trial, sometimes if there might be people who can't do anything. And so the how, what's the percentage of those people who become capable of doing that? Well, the example that I have shown to you just before, the to for example, to make the QA site. So that's the final uh, homework or the final test they have. And so those people who participated here, they are not anybody who will not be able to do anything. I think they do input the knowledge up to this level. and But we won't give them the, any information. They have to work together as a teamwork to make this. And this is the not always 100% for us. So our target now is to make it 60%, that 60% of the people will achieve the final target goal. So that's the reality we have. Thank you, I understand. So for the until they get into the final challenge, how long is the time they spend for that? I think it depends on the individual. At least they have to minimum 300 hours so they do have to study at least for those hours. We'll not be able to catch up with other people. Some, some people spend more time. Thank you. Any other questions? Yes, please. Thank you for the presentation. For the new graduates and who are not experienced people, for those people, what do you do to maintain their motivation? To maintain motivation, I think that's the most critical part. I just mentioned about the demonstration day where people will make the presentation, so uh, they we give them the opportunity to make the presentation of what they want to make and to accomplish that. And also, we should have more opportunity to have interaction face to face because when they just study by themselves, sometimes they feel they're tired, I will go to sleep today. But if it's a face to face communication, we can also encourage them and cherish them. So. I think the second point is that we should have more occasion to have those interactions. And the other thing is the entrance. So that means what is a purpose and why are you doing this? So we should always question them to remember what was the real, uh, the original intention. And also it's important not to bring down their motivation. Now we are talking about how we raise the motivation. So for example, if some question is given, and if I say, why don't you look at the Google? I think that's not the, that's a no, no question. We should never say that because the important thing is we have to confirm why he's or she's asking this question, to what level they understand that. And on, depending on to what level, and we also have to give them the answer by confirming what's the points they want to know. And that's the most important part that we are really nervous about when we give them answers. So communication is very important. Thank you. I think there's one more question. Any more questions? Please raise your hand. I will carry the microphone to you. Uh, 
Thank you for the presentation. I teach programming at universities, and also I give them training within the company for the newcomers. And I feel that when we give tutorials, the prototype development is something they can do. For example, we see the internal system that they don't have to care so much about the security. And it is possible to make those kinds of prototype. But uh, in our company, we also do the web development as a consignment outsourcing service. So, but there's still, there is a big difference in the level of technology, what the customers are looking for and what they can provide. And I think those people who study at school are trying very hard, but uh, there's still a newcomers. And then until they come to the middle range, I think there's a big distance between the new who have just started studying until the middle range people. So how would you handle that? Yes, I think that's a real challenge. We ourselves have started doing the development service. And so those who are graduate, but they're newcomers members, uh, they're having difficulty in, prom in progressing with a task. And this happens very often. Then we uh, have to feel, uh, think, what should be the skill that we should give them? Or rather, we should think in a different way. How can we solve the problems, the issues? And of course, we have to give them the opportunity to be dealing with the issue on a zero base. But when the very difficult problem comes, it depends on how many possibilities or how many options they have. In our textbook, in the process of the study, there are the stereotype text. And also, there's another one that we have to start from the scratch. And so we don't, but still, they don't have so many options. But I think the, uh, the superior people uh, in your company who has many know-hows accumulated up to now can come up with various options. So in the real work experience, the important thing is that should the way of thinking should be shared among different levels of people. Yes, every week we are having a workshop meeting so that we can share the knowledge among different levels of engineers. Yes, but of course it takes time and also depends on the person to what level I've been thinking up to today. And there is much difference between people to people. Uh, but it doesn't mean that if they don't have the enough knowledge now, doesn't mean that this person will not grow in the future. So uh, I'm sure it's important that they would accumulate their experience and knowledge on the actual experience. Thank you so much for the questions. No other questions. If you have more questions, please uh, ask him directly. So I, I was impressed by the way that you use a bank as an example. Well, every time I made the experience, people were not, were, didn't understand. So I was thinking during I was taking a bath. And then, then uh, I thought suddenly about the bank system. So to give the example of your own experience really makes the people easier to understand the examples of what I'm talking about. And I think that's one good example. And thank you very much. Please give him a big hand.